and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going over a really cool method. Now, it's not like a glitch. It is just simple, a simple method. So don't come in here thinking it's some glitch. Guys, it is a method that EA has allowed and put into this game. They've done it on multiple occasions now, and I'm super excited they did because it makes things a lot easier for us as, you know, Madden players. I like when they do this stuff because they're, they're a very money-hungry company. They are super money-hungry. They usually are looking out for their pockets, but there's slight instances where they have helped us slight and this one specifically i want to do so bad i will be doing this as soon as lamar jackson comes out the only reason i haven't yet is because i want to get lamar jackson as soon as possible for a gameplay for the channel this guys this is what you guys have to understand a lot of you guys like you know you post a lot of videos and this stuff and you never have a coins because i have to use it for packs and for packs for videos i have to use it for gameplay i not just not just gameplays right i don't do a lot of gameplays but i have to get cards i have to be saving coins in case things come out of man that i need to be doing you guys understand so Specifically, I want to get Lamar Jackson as soon as he comes out, and I want to do a gameplay with him. So I got to save coins up. So that's why I haven't spent much coins. If you guys have been wondering why my team hasn't improved in overall, because I don't, you know, I don't really buy a lot of packs. So for me, it's kind of hard to build up coins very fast if I need to. But besides the point, guys, let's get into the video. Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this video, we've hit 19k, which means that we are so close to our goal of 20,000 subscribers, guys. So if you're new to this channel and you're watching this video and you're new, you're new for the first time. Hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Let's get to 20k as quickly as possible. Our goal for the end of February is we should smash right through that. Comment down below if you guys plan to do this method and give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 500 likes in this video, guys? Noti Gang has been the driving force of this Madden channel. If you guys keep showing love and showing support, I promise you the channel will keep growing. Thank you guys for all the support. Now let's keep it up. Now let's head on over. So, the way this works, right? So, the title of this video is how to get an NFL Honors 90 overall card. For super cheap literally half the price now i'll show you guys how to do such such things so if you guys remember let me take it to the over to the auction block for a little madden history if you guys remember when luke keekley and eli manning career trip well let's actually lose luke keekley and antonio gates when luke keekley came out right when luke keekley came out he was going for about his tribute card was going for like 900k right and then he just got a team of the year card and he retired so the way they did this was that luke keekley when you powered him up when you powered him all the way, it kind of sucked because now you had to go ahead and get his 96, right? Wait till we get down here. So to power him up, you have to get his 96 team of the year, and then you have to go pay again another 700, 900K to get his 97. EA could be super money hungry and forced to do that, but instead what they did was they they merged it, and they allowed it so that the team of the year card would also function as the tribute card. So if you have him powered up, you don't have to actually get a tribute card, which means you could potentially get a 98 limited time Madden 20 tribute card for, for without having to actually pay for it. You essentially get the NFL Honors card for free. You guys get the point. So let me show you guys how this works. So for this one specifically, I'm going to be using Calais Campbell. Now Calais Campbell, guys, is one of the... He's an endgame card. He, he literally is. I, I'm in love with this card right now. I was looking at him. I got to pick him up as soon as possible. Like I guess I'm just waiting for the Lamar to come out. So basically 25K, super cheap. Heavyweight 89K and his team of the year 345. Now for you guys who already have him powered up, you guys are set. His NFL Honors card is 568. The only reason it's slightly cheaper is only because people already know, were knowing about this method, so they're devaluing his card. But this card still costs a lot. Now, essentially, right, this card right here, he was pretty good. I wouldn't say he was end game, but he was pretty good. Now, this card right here, powered up, chemmed up, and everything, gonna have 99 play rec, 99 tackle, close to 99 strength, close to 97 block shed, close to 99 power move, as well as like 86, 87 excel, and like 876 speed. Now guys, remember, he doesn't have to be your left end. I'm probably gonna play him at left end for the time being, but as the year goes on, you can move him over to defensive tackle. At defensive tackle, he's gonna be insane. He's gonna be the best run stuff in defensive tackle, as well as one of the best pass rushing defensive tackles. Six foot eight frame, gonna be huge and strong. Calais Campbell's a really good pickup, guys. Now the way this is gonna work. So, let's come over to his power up, guys. I'm super hyped to talk about this, because you pretty much get an NFL honors card for free. Because when you power up cards, right? Like say you power up Lamar Jackson. You have to buy his 90, his 93, and then you have to buy his 98. This way, you only have to buy, like, let's say, you don't, like, if Lamar Jackson had this too, you don't have to buy his 93, and then you could skip the 98. So it's pretty cool how this works. So I did buy my Calais Campbell power up. I do plan to do this. I picked him up just in time to do all this. And my Patrick Mahomes does have a quick sell of 500K, guys. So that's my backup plan. If I need to get Lamar Jackson, Calais Campbell, I'm going to just sell my Pat Mahomes. But look at this. So to power up all the way, you got to get your training, right? That's not the biggest deal here. So you're going to need tier six, basically. You probably you probably have a power pass sitting in your binder. If you don't, you can buy it for about 25K. Here again, you probably have a power pass sitting around somewhere. And if you don't, 
you can buy them. Now here's the only hard part of this whole method. So, so far, what are we working with training wise? Probably about like, what? What are we working with? Like 3,000, what? I'd say let's, let's say we're close to 4,000 training. Super cheap at this point in the game. The hardest part of this whole thing is gonna be this LTD Calais Campbell. You're going to have to use a power pass on this specific part of the card because you're not gonna find them anywhere. Now, power pass is gonna be a 93 to 94, I believe. You should have one of those. I think, I don't know where I put mine. So that's my other issue. I gotta go back now and figure out what card I have that on. I'm thinking it's Lawrence Taylor. So I'd rather just go buy Lawrence Taylor separately and do them separately anyways, and then just toss this on. Because essentially what this is doing, this method right here is getting me an end game 90 overall card. Now let's show you guys right here. So you go from here to here. Now it says add the Calais Campbell team of the year or NFL honors players item to upgrade ratings. So you have a choice of the team of the year or the NFL honors card. So the team of the year is obviously cheaper. So for the price of about 350k, or even a power pass, if you guys want to use your 96 power pass and that you will be getting Friday, you will be getting pretty much a 98 overall power card. Now remember, with the right cams is going to be a 99. So you're getting potentially a 99 overall card, potentially a 99 overall card for half the price. It's insane. Now, you could look at it two ways. You could look at it as a free NFL honors card. Or you can look at it as just half the price. Prelo did announce that this would work on these cards as well. That had cards that were just so close in ratings. Now, at first I was like, I didn't think too much of it. Then I realized what it really meant. Now, remember, once you have this all powered up and everything, look, he's going to have 76 speed, 86 excel, 99 awareness, 96 strength, 97 tackle, 88 jumping, 94 impact blocking, 95 power move, 91 finesse move, 98 block shed, 92 pursuit, 99 play break, 99 injury, 96 stamina, and 91 hit power. Guys, this card is an absolute animal. Now, remember, this isn't, this is without your John Madden pass rushing chems on. This is without your power, your pass rush ability chems, whatever, your abilities you could toss on him. He's going to be an end game guy. You could either, and then once you think he's too slow for you, you just toss him over to defensive tackle starting. And that's it. You're going to have a 99 guy on the defensive line for the rest of the year. And he costs you, it's so cheap how much he's actually going to end up costing you if you do this the way I've explained it. Guys, I highly recommend you guys we get this done. Like I said, the only reason I'm not doing it yet is because I need to save coins for Lamar. I don't know where Lamar's going to be. Lamar could be 800K, Lamar could be 1.5 million coins. So I'm waiting. I'm going to quick sell my homes probably if Lamar is better than him and then sell my Sammy Watkins I have. And then I'm going to see if I can build that up. And then sell Tyree Kill because remember that set method I did for you guys. I am doing that for Tyree Kill. I'm almost done with it. I gotta finish my solos. And then I'll get the Tyree Kill back and I'll sell that one because I already bought one. And then I'll have enough for this um for Lamar. Once I get Lamar, then I'm gonna try to get my Calais. And then I'm pretty much set, guys. That's gonna be two endgame cards on my team, Lamar and Calais Campbell. I love getting endgame cards. It's gonna be super glitchy. I hope you guys get this done. Now, how much training is it gonna cost? Like 4,000 training. 4,000 training right now is about what? How much thing, how much is 4,000 training right now? Like 50k? It's really not that much, 50K. It's whatever a 90 card call. I think you can get like a 90 overall right now for like 60K. So maybe even 60K depending on the market. I haven't checked the market today. This card's gonna be the only expensive card, but that's why you gotta use the power pass. And all these, you could always power pass or just buy them. They're really not that expensive. You're going to get an end game card for, you guys don't understand how much more it would cost you if you had to buy all of them. Typically a 99 overall end game card power up change should cost you a little over at least a million coins. This one's gonna cost you way less. And you're going to get a lot more for your value. I think this is the best bang for your buck method in Madden right now. You definitely want to be getting this done. Uh, now, I don't know if any other cards would be like this. Nick Bosa definitely won't because he's far apart in overalls. Kyler Murray doesn't even have a power up. Ryan Tannehill doesn't even have a power up, so that won't even affect him. Uh, Michael Thomas. It'll, it should affect Michael Thomas as well. So, guys, maybe I'll make a video on Michael Thomas because Michael Thomas is a 96 team of the year, which means he's getting a 98 card. It should affect him as well. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to check that out. And then... Lamar Jackson should not affect, as well as Stephon Gilmore, it could also affect. This could be huge, guys. This could be big. They did, they did give a lot of team. In the oh, he had a playoffs card. That's what it was. I don't know. Maybe that won't affect it then. But Michael Thomas, for sure. I'm pretty sure, guys. But that is better for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys get this done. I'm super excited to do this. I really am. I'm kind of glad that they did this this way. I should have paid more attention to this when they did it the first time with Luke Keekley. Would have been a pretty decent upgrade. But Luke Keekley's speed was a little slower. Calais Campbell, first position, is a great, great ad. The stats are amazing, guys. Go get this done. Go get your coins up. Get this done, guys. That is better for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We should be at 19K by the time you guys have seen this video. Hopefully, 20K in the next week or so. You guys have been killing it lately. Let's keep it going. Noti Gang, whoever's still watching, if you've been watching this late in the video, make sure to comment down below. Let me know you watched throughout the whole thing. I always appreciate you guys. Support all the way through. And comment down below. If you guys are going to be doing this, you guys already did this for Calais Campbell. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 500 likes for this method? If this helps you guys out, you're interested, or you just enjoy the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. Now, that's about it for the video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.